so today I'm going to be doing a video about um, appointments and like what you do when you find out you're pregnant. So basically, first of all, if you think you're pregnant, do a pregnancy test at home. And if that's confirmed, a lot of people do more than one pregnancy test, either because they can't believe the result or because they definitely think they're pregnant and it says negative. So basically, you do the test and then if it's um, positive, then you go to the doctors, like your GP, and then they will come do another pregnancy test and confirm whether it's positive or negative. And if it's positive, then obviously you have to decide what you want to do, whether you want to keep it or not. Um, and yeah, so basically then they give you a pack like this. This pack here. Um, and basically it's a pregnancy folder. And yeah, so it's full of stuff. So basically the important things in it are... There's a lot of advertising. Um, one thing is pregnant care, which is like a nutritional vitamin thing. There's another vitamin thing, which is um, a liquid iron supplement. It says apple flavour with vitamin C. So yeah. Then you get a booklet, which is a screening test for you and your baby. This is important as you need screening tests, like to check there isn't any abnormalities or anything. Um, so read through that, and that's really useful. You also get this magazine, which is You and Your Pregnancy by Bounty, which is the what the pack comes from, which is basically like a pregnancy company. Um, I haven't actually read it yet, but I should read it, and I will read it, but yeah. And then the rest is just basically advertising, lots and lots of advertisements, which may be helpful like if you don't know where to get baby stuff or whatever, but yeah, it's just a lot of advertising. Oh, and there's a pen. Pregnant care pen. It's exciting. So then also with um, the folder, with the with the pack you get this folder, which is basically says congratulations on your pregnancy and it will say your hospital at the top and then useful numbers and what um, community midwife you're with. So basically I'm with Rose Team and basically you call them to like make appointments and stuff like that. Um, basically you have to make a appointment in here when um when you make the appointments like which weeks so basically you see one to begin with to like fill in the book this book and to um like get all your details down and everything uh, and then you see them like not so often after that um because i've got type 1 diabetes i go to the hospital every week so basically my care is more managed by the hospital rather than the community team so I if I want if I don't want to I don't have to see the community team because I see the hospital but I want to see the community team because I think it'll get give me more information and will just be reassuring basically because they do the um the little heartbeat tracer thing which is really cute and just reassuring as well. Um but yeah so basically I go every week and it's quite an intense appointment and they move around my insulin levels and stuff like that but I will explain that in another video um, about diabetes and pregnancy um, but yeah if you have a, any health condition then you'll probably um, be seen a lot more often yeah so basically this book just has lots of information about me about um, every single appointment they write down in like a little box in, in this book um, about what, what they discussed and what you decided to do or whatever and what tests were done, like blood tests and stuff like that. So yeah, that's this book. And then um, at my antenatal class, which is for young parents, they gave us another pack. It's this pack, it says labour information pack. It says for mums to be from 34 weeks, I am 26 weeks at the moment. So they shouldn't have really given us that yet, but it's just a bunch of like freebies. So it's useful and maybe I'll get a second one as well. Um, the first thing in it is this fairy non-bio pods. It's only one in there. That you have to wash it with non-bio because that um, they're less sensitive to it, babies. So they're less likely to have an allergic reaction, which is obviously very helpful to not have that. We got this Dettol thing. We've basically already used it, but it's um, it's like these wipes, like disinfectant wipes, which are really useful. And um, hopefully I'll get some more of these, like free, um, so that I can use them when baby's actually here. But I use them to like clean the cot and everything, and like wipe down all the surfaces in the nursery, which is this room. Uh, yeah. 
you get these Pampers, uh, how many nappies are there? They're newborn and there's four free nappies in here, so I'll be taking them to the hospital when I um, give birth, so that I'll have some newborn nappies available and ready, and a nice little pack like this. So yeah. You also get this nappy care ointment cream, which, um, is, and even if you don't want to use these brands, like it's pretty good to just have a spare or a starter one basically, so it's a really good pack. And then you get this Emma's Diary, a guide to labour and birth. So basically at the beginning you get Emma's Diary, um, which is like the every week to week kind of thing. And this is obviously the labour and birth part of it. I haven't read this yet, but I will. And then some more advertising with coupons. Uh, £1 off, £2 off, etc. But yeah, so that one's empty. Um, yeah, so basically that is all the packs that you get I think but obviously you could get more but I don't know so far like what's because I'm only 26 weeks so I've still got a way to go um, but yeah so I'll do another video about um, diabetes and pregnancy and like the specifics of that and how it works and what you have to change etc um, but yeah um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Please subscribe below. It would be really, really helpful. And it would be lovely to see you um, follow my pregnancy journey. But yeah, thank you very much. Bye.